former Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala's 10 co-accused in the graft case involving the irregular payment of 8.5 billion shillings from the Tourism Fund towards the construction of the coast branch of the Kenya Utali College in Vipingo, Kilifi County, have denied the charges. The suspects, who were arraigned before the Malindi Law Courts, faced, among other charges, abuse of office and willful failure to comply with laws. The Malindi Chief Magistrate James Mwaniki released them on different bond terms in line with the charges against them. The court has also issued summons against Nancy Siboy, former head of legal at the Tourism Fund, and Joseph Ndungu, former procurement manager at the Tourism Fund, for failing to appear in court. The case will be mentioned on the 11th of January 2024. Former CS Najib Balala was arraigned in court a week ago following his arrest by EACC detectives. He was released on a one million shilling cash bail after pleading not guilty to alleged corruption and abuse of office charges. Number six, number seven and number 11 are each granted a board of 750,000 surety of like amount or a cash bail of 300,000. The third accused person was said to be out on a cash bill of 300,000. He has two counts relating to procurement irregularity. The accused person number three, alongside the accused person number four, are each granted a board of two million surety of like amount or a cash bill of 600,000. The accused persons number 12 and 13 are charged with unlawful acquisition of public property in their individual capacity and as directors of the 14th accused company. The fifth accused person faced similar charges and taking everything into consideration, each of the accused persons number 12, number 13 and number 15 are granted a board of 3 million surety of like amount or a cash bill of 800,000.